it's John over here at Alfa Romeo Maserati St. Pete. And today we've got a special treat. Right over here, I've got an Audi A4 Quattro 2022. Over here, I've got a 2023 Alfa Romeo Giulia rear wheel drive. We're gonna do a comparison of these cars. We're gonna talk about them. We're gonna show them, do a walk around. We're also gonna drive them. And I'll tell you what I think of the strengths and weaknesses of each car. Let's do it right now. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna drive it. So I'll give you my driving impressions. Let's check it out. Of the Audi A4. Do my driving impressions of the Audi A4. Very familiar with it. Steering is very, very comfortable, very familiar. I love Quattro, not gonna lie. I really like Quattro a lot. Um, I don't know the exact setup. I'll put it in the video description below of the setup. Um, Cause I know like they kind of changed a couple things with Audi. So um, in the video description on YouTube, I'll get what that setup is. Um, but it feels good. Feels very much like my A4. I had an A4 Quattro, I had a 2018 A4 Quattro. So, Definitely feels similar to that in driving. Good engine, good power. Um, not even in sport mode yet. We can try that here. Power shifting. Let's see. Oh yeah, fast, oh yeah. Definitely fast, I like it. Um, definitely very fast, I like it. I definitely think that this is probably gonna be I'm, if I'm not wrong, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be the one around 250 horsepower, 272 foot pounds of torque. If it's the same A4 engine, I will confirm that. We will I'll put information in the video description. We've got the paddle shifting here. Nice. Take the corner. A little heavier though, because of the Quattro. Yeah, a little heavier there. I'll take that corner back again next time. We'll see how this is. I'm not gonna do like a super duper extensive drive. Um, works a little bit. Has to work a little bit on the speed, but it's, it's there. It's definitely there. Um, I would assume this is gonna be zero to sixty. Like I said, in the higher fives. Let's turn around. Check the brakes. Brakes are good, but it, it's it's definitely a bit heavier. Turning radius. I mean, I think the Audi's solid. Yeah, it's got to work a little bit like there. It's definitely very solid. It's very comfortable. It feels very safe. Doesn't feel quite as sporty, quite as nimble. Um, in this configuration, it's it's excellent. It's very solid. I want to try to really, I'm in sport mode now. I'm going to try to manually shift down around this uh, turn. It's got some uh, the lane assist here. It holds, absolutely does. I love Quattro, it definitely holds. Um, but, you know, I, I would say it's, it definitely communicates really, really well. Like I know what to expect, but it's also it's also heavier. It's also got a little roll here. I mean, it absolutely holds. It's this predictable Audi for me. This is predictable Audi for me, but it doesn't have, um, I like it, I feel safe, it's sporty, but I feel like I don't have that that next level edge, if that makes sense. I, I wanna reserve some judgment until I drive the um, Alfa Romeo next and then we'll know more from there. Okay, now we're driving the Alfa Romeo. Definitely feels like it's ready for a sporty drive. Sports seats are definitely hogging me. Backup camera's nice, not as good as the Audi, in my opinion, but it's good. And you have here, you've got touch screen, so I've got it in neutral in, in neutral right now. I'm going to put it in sport mode here. Brakes are definitely stronger. There's not even a question. These Brembo brakes are just, just really strong. Really fast. Oh yeah, that thing gets up quick. Absolutely faster than the Audi. It's not even a question. Not even a question. And I like the steering is very precise. You know, it has a different feel. It's weird. It's like the Audi's absolutely it feels heavier to me on the on the on the turns on the corners. We got a little traffic here, um, but it feels like the braking's heavier in this. Now the braking's stronger in this. It's hard to exactly explain. 
it seems like maybe that the system or the way the electronics and mechanics all work together. I'll have to try it some more and we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, it did for sure faster than the Audi. For sure. I mean, way sportier. It's, it works a little bit, not nearly as hard. Both four cylinders, but tremendous difference in class. Like you can feel it. I mean, the thing is, I think that the Audi's already doing really well. Like the Audi's like definitely good. This is great. Turn radius, it's tight. That's tight. Coming out of the hole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Definitely, definitely tighter shifting. There's no question. Like if we go, like I'll just chill it out here. Let's stop a little bit. Oh, wow. Wow, great control, great control. Then I go down here. D3, oh, just quick, 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 quick. Bring it right back. Wow, okay. I. For sure more spirited driving. It's not even a question. For sure quicker. Um, I feel like there's a little bit more mm, predictability about the Audi at speed. I know what the Audi is gonna do and where it's gonna go. This absolutely has more capability. It's more fun to drive. Uh, definitely more fun to drive. Now I'm gonna ch check out this corner here and we'll tell you what's going on with the corner. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so the Audi stuck, he went around it like rails. This is definitely feels that rear wheel drive, but it was a sharper turn and more race inspired. Absolutely right. I mean, absolutely for sure. So if I go here, that's fun. It's definitely fun. It's a rear wheel drive car. So you can do a lot more with this. It's absolutely more sporty. It's absolutely faster. It's a lot of fun. Um, but it's, it's, it's all wheel drive versus real wheel drive. And it's quattro versus, uh, you know, versus real wheel drive. So this is definitely, um, if you know how to, what you're doing, rear wheel drive, there's a lot of capability in this car, tremendous capability in this car. Uh, I would say the driving experience, I definitely would give the nine. I mean, it's different, right? I mean, if you want spot, if you want a sporty drive, if you want something fun and thrilling, absolutely alpha. If you want predictability and something that like, you, you have you know total confidence in then I would go the Audi but if I had to just like just choose one over the other for drive and engine and performance I'm gonna go with the Alpha uh, but very interesting I mean two awesome takes on the sports sedan and both are excellent but I think you know for what you get at this in this class in the Alpha is just phenomenal. I'm super impressed with it. Okay, over here, we've got the Audi A4. Now listen, I was, in my opinion, I was one of the top in the country that's selling Audis for years. I have an Audi. I love Audi. Audi's great, and it has a lot of strengths, okay? So here you've got the LED lights up here, the, the turning lights, which is great. You've got the four rings, iconic. I think it's got a very uh, great look to it. Audis also are known, in my opinion, for being very, very safe. Also, everything I'm saying is all my opinion only not let J facts not catch any spurs and please check all the disclaimers in the video description below Audis in my opinion are known for being very very safe I like the look the build quality is extremely strong on Audi the look is great it's very great it's it's just kind of very sort of tactical you can feel the engineering precision of it I, it also has a, a classiness to it but there's a little bit of a a clinical aspect to it in my opinion a little bit of a surgical aspect to it in my opinion which is great I'm there's nothing wrong with it it's awesome like I said I've had many Audis and I've definitely sold a lot of Audis I really like Audi the A4 is definitely the you know classic Audi sedan right now it has been for for a while uh, you also obviously have the A3 the A6 but the A4 is definitely the competitor to the Julia you know you've got the various lines that go here I like it. I had an A4. You have good trunk space here, which is great. I love that build quality. See with the door, if you close it, 
solid. I love that build quality. Here you open the door, you can see over here, big, huge, they're painted forged steel hinges. I can literally get up on this and hang on it and it does nothing. So that's really solid, I really love that. The sunroof is kind of a normal sunroof here. The paint is put on with, I believe, a, if I remember right, a micro atomizer and it's brushed with emu feathers. So it's really, you know, the paint is, is really smooth. It's really good. Um, so I like it, it's nice. But again, it, it feels a little more clinical. It feels a little more clinical to me. So let's check out the outside of the Alfa Romeo. Over here we have the Alfa Romeo. Now, this is a really good looking vehicle. You can see immediately that V-shaped grille here. You see the big air intakes. It looks kind of aggressive, but also kind of friendly. It has tremendous style. You just see the sculpting here of the hood. I like these lights a little bit better, but I definitely like this better. I, I definitely like this better. The overall look is definitely more impressive, more sporty right here, in my opinion, with the Alfa Romeo. You're dealing with 280 horsepower. You're dealing with the zero to 60 time in the low five seconds, okay, which is amazing. You're dealing with over 300 foot-pounds of torque, which is awesome. Those specs beat the Audi, okay? Now, Audi has Quattro, and Quattro is super strong, in my opinion, for all-wheel drive. But rear-wheel drive allows you to throttle steer it gives you that sporty feeling here in Florida you know it's great a lot of sports cars are rear-wheel drive also the Alfa Romeo is available in all-wheel drive as well but I would say if you're just pure all-wheel drive I'd give the advantage to, to the Audi but you have to remember, the Audi is not as fast as the, as the Alfa Romeo. The, this is gonna be about, I, again, I have to see the latest specs, but I think the top spec for the normal A4 is gonna be zero to 60 in the higher, mid to higher fives. This is lower fives. I've, I've even seen something, if I remember correctly, in my opinion, as low as 5.1 seconds. Super fast for a regular sedan, and it's really, really great looking. Veloce, I like that trend there. That gives you a little scene. You can see the difference in paint. Just like, look at that, bam, that just pops. I like this paint just a lot better in terms of the sparkle to it. You look around the vehicle, you can see the lines. This just looks, this looks very sporty to me, very elegant. Panoramic roof, you've got a panoramic uh, moon roof here. You also have an opening here for the rear passengers. You've got the valence over here. You also have the awesome exhaust. This looks really strong. Q2, rear wheel drive. Awesome Alfa Romeo badging right there. It's just, just a really good looking vehicle. You can see the difference in wheels. To me, this wheel blows away this wheel. You've got this awesome two-tone wheel right here with the circles and the red brake calipers with the Brembro brakes. You also have the Pirelli tires on. Here, this is a, this looks to me like a sport tire. This over here is a Continental tire. Continental is very, very good too, but this is an all-season tire. This is more of the pinwheel uh, wheels, and you've got, it looks like a, a kind of a, a silver a brake caliper there, but this wheel and tire combo totally beats this. The Audi looks good. It's really nice. It's strong. You've got the uh, forged steel hinges. You also have the paint that's anodized and brushed with emu feathers. Great build quality. Safe, in my opinion. But it's a little bit more clinical. It's a little bit more surgical. It's a little bit more, less, less sort of passionate and, uh, and emotion grabbing, in my opinion. This right here says performance to me. It seems more awesome. It looks better. It seems like I really want to take this one for a drive. I love both vehicles. I've sold a lot of Audis. I love Audi. I'm an Audi fan. I own Audi. Both of these vehicles are awesome. It's a roughly similar, and they're the same similar rough price point, okay? Here is, to me, great build quality, safety, awesome technology, phenomenal all-wheel drive. Probably, in my opinion, the best all-wheel drive. Great control, great feel. This passion, excitement, tremendous performance, a great look, a unique look, a prestige. Both of them are luxury vehicles. A little bit different, right? A little bit different. This is something where, you know, I can drive this every day, I know what it is, I have a level of confidence in it. This is, 
wow, I got to drive an Alfa Romeo. I got to feel it. It's, it felt so great. It was so fun driving it. I look forward to driving it. I mean, both of them are awesome. I have tremendous respect for both brands. But you can see on the exterior, in my opinion, exterior-wise, looks-wise, I'm giving the win to Alfa Romeo. So that's one point for Alfa Romeo. Let's look on, at the interior now. Now, I'm gonna break this into two different parts. Interior sort of ambiance, if you will. And then I'm also gonna talk about the MMI and the electronics, because I think that's just a whole separate lane that's so important now in vehicles. That's really its own deal. Okay, now, if you see the interior, this is anodized leather, it's deep dyed. I really like it. It holds up really well. It's very comfortable. Again, I've been around Audis. I've driven Audis for a long time, so I know exactly what this is. I feel it. Look, everything's laid out really well. You've got the paddle shifters here. The seats are very comfortable. You can maneuver this. Yeah, I like it a lot. Now here, you only have this sunroof here. You don't have anything in the back. That's sort of a negative, all right, in my opinion. Let's get in the back and let's feel that. But the driver's position, very comfortable. You have a Bang & Olsen sound system, which I know is really good. Getting in the back, I've got plenty of knee room here. You've got carve-outs for the knees. So you have, you know, I have the headroom here, but I have no sunroof over here. I'm comfortable, I'm about five foot 10, about 200 pounds. I'm comfortable, but it's not like super spacious or super luxurious, but I can definitely do a trip in this. Charges in the back, you have, you have uh, AC controls here. Again, I'm comfortable, but again, in this size range, this is probably what you're going to get. This is a standard sedan. It's definitely doable, it's just, what you you know what you want to uh, buy there. I had an A6 and I had more space for sure, but it was also like harder to maneuver, a little heavier. This is easier to maneuver, easier to park substantially. So again, this is that you know standard sedan size where you're going to see the Mercedes C-Class, you're going to see the BMW 3 Series, 4 Series, Audi A4, Alfa Romeo Giulia. So this is definitely a very competitive, high selling uh, class out there, and this is what I would expect. So again very nice it'll hold up very well luxurious solidly built it's an excellent excellent from the inside let's compare it to the inside of the alfa romeo immediately i'm hit with this red this is super nice and i would say fairly unique out there in the uh, in, in, at a vehicle in this class level right again if you start getting into the s classes the amgs then you can see some of this stuff but as a regular sedan you know, sports sedan, this is, I'd say, pretty, pretty unusual. How about that? Maybe not unique, but pretty unusual. Beautiful leather. I love the way this looks. To me, this is very reminiscent of a Maserati, a Ferrari, you know, that kind of, that kind of look, a Lamborghini, that kind of look, that kind of vibe, that kind of feel. The, it's, the seats are very comfortable. Sports seats here, they're hugging me. Um, I like this, this is adjustable here, okay? The, the leather feels very high quality. The interior is awesome. Now here you've got a um, Harman Kardon system versus the Bang & Olufsen system. I'd say those are, those are both excellent systems here. You also have big sh uh, paddle shifters here. You know, this is very comfortable. The, again, this is a sports setup. You have a lot of controls here. I would say off the jump, it's a little bit more, the Audi sort of, it, it, I've been driving Audi too, is a little bit more sort of commonsensical to me, but I also notice here, I have a lot of safety features, uh, intelligent driving features like adaptive cruise control, lane assist, they're all right here, and a start stop button right here that is also Formula One inspired, so that's awesome to have it right here. I mean, how cool is that, right? That's very, very cool. Um, I have a charger stacing right here. I have USB ports here, auxiliary right here. That's also good. I'd probably give a hands, uh, a nod to the ergonomics over there, but this, the, the leather seats are blowing me away here. That color combination is just so strong aesthetically. Now let's jump in the back here. In the back, So this is a little bit tighter. This is a little bit tighter on my head, and that may be that sport look, okay? I also have a moonroof here for the back, which is cool. I have heated seats, I got charging stations here. Um, you know, it, this, is, this is a great, it's a good feel. I, it's the same thing, I'm maybe slightly com more comfortable in the Audi in the rear seat. 
but I love this red, okay, a lot. To me, and the aesthetics, and just sort of comfortability and, and, and feature set, I'm gonna give a nod to the Alfa Romeo. It's close, because I think the Audi does some things really well, and is a little bit more room, a little bit uh, simpler, but I think the total look and the combination of features with the intelligent driving, I'm gonna give the nod to the Alfa Romeo. So that's two points for the Alfa Romeo. Okay, now let's talk about the MMI here. I like it, it's good. You can control it a number of different ways. You can do this, it's also touch screen. So that's nice. You've got the TomTom Tom, uh, navigation system here. Also you have, on both cars, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which you can hook up with the USB, so you can do that. Um, that's nice. The navigation system I think is, is quite good here. This is digital with two analog uh, stations over here. It's very good. I like it. Um, it doesn't totally blow me away. I think that it's 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 definitely good. It's better than it has been for Alfa Romeo in the in the previous gen, in my opinion. But it's it's not what I would call cutting edge. It is definitely not a negative. I think it's functional and I like it, it's usable, but I wouldn't say it's like a super selling point. I think it's decent. Um, again, the touchscreen I think is a big win. I think that's nice. You can control it in different ways. Um, but I think, it, I think it's solid. I think like on a, I don't know if I, how I exactly quantify it, on a one to 10, maybe seven, something like that. Let's go check the Audis. Okay, here's the MMI system for the Audi. It's really, really good. This is touchscreen now, so you have a lot of different things here. The navigation system's not on this one, but you can see everything's touchscreen. It looks really good. This is all digital. This is all digital. I've got the navigation system in my system, and it's all maps here, maps there. You can change the view. You can do different things. It's You can control things here. It's got lots and lots of control for this, uh, for, you know, for the vehicle here in terms of what you're looking at. So, I mean, that just it's just so solid in that respect. Tells you what you're looking at. It's just so much easier. Again, if I had the navigation, you'd really see it, and you also can get a Google Map subscription, so it shows you the, the satellite um, aspect to it. It's just so strong. Uh, it's really, really good. So I would say definitely, in my opinion, a win for the Audi. I wish I could demonstrate a little bit more of that, um, but it's really, really good. So I'm saying that's definitely a win for the Audi. So I would say like definitely a point for the Audi. Okay, so that's my drive and review and wrap up here of the Audi A4 2022 versus 2023 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Listen, in terms of my rating and where I come down on this, this is this is really hard. It's really hard. And I, I'm not gonna try to like, you know, split the difference here, but I would say straight up, I'm gonna give two different answers. Both of them are awesome versions of the sports sedan. Both are impeccable. Both have done it well at a high level, in my opinion. Get the A4 if you are looking for something really safe, predictable, great all-wheel drive. Maybe you have a lot of snow, you know, rain, things like that. You need a little more space in the back seat if you want the best electronics. You don't care so much about the look. You don't care as much about having something different or unique. Um, you don't care as much about like the, the, the speed, the driving, enthusiasm. Still great, still gonna do a lot of those things, all of those things in my opinion, just at a different level. Alfa Romeo, get the Alfa Romeo if you want passion, if you want excitement, if you like driving, if you're into racing, if you want something to show off, if you want something to valet. This is something that's gonna be different. It's gonna stand out in the sea of BMW and Mercedes, and yes, even Audi or Lexus, things like that. This is very unique. Just the quality, the looks, the interior, the driving, it's just so fun to drive. I feel like it's a little bit unfair. I would have liked to have compared it against a Q4, but in some ways, it really really is great because you know the rear wheel drive that racing excellence to me the BMW driver if you're looking at 3 series I mean I can't wait for that comparison a 4 series boom absolutely like you need to be looking at Alfa Romeo but between these two I really feel like if you want style performance passion racing history bam it's right here if you want also racing history a little bit more maybe conservative, a little bit less flash, but great predictability, awesome all-wheel drive, safety, great technology, and cameras, here you go. 
Both are really, really good. A little bit different, right? If I have to choose one or the other, wow. I would say, I think, that's tough, that's tough. But I think you're gonna be hard pressed to beat this in its class for everything that it's doing. If you're looking for that sports sedan, if you want some performance without having to go to an S model or an RS model or an AMG model, bam, right here in what this does, this isn't even the quadrifolio, mind you. That's a whole different, that's a whole different deal, right? This, as, a, as the regular sports sedan, is so impressive from Alfa Romeo. They did a really, really good job. I would say, for me personally, if I'm leasing it, I'm going here. If I'm buying it, oh, that's a coin toss. That's tough. That's a tough one. I love Audi, I love, uh, you know, and I, but I, I see the great appeal to this. This is a super fun car. If you want a fun car with flash and style, it, it's just hard to deny this. I'm going to say, bottom line, I'm gonna go with the Alpha. Yes, it has some flaws, but the strengths are really strong and it's very, very unique. A lot of buyers in this class, you may have already had a BMW, an Audi, a Mercedes. This is something different. It's a fresh change of air, and it's they've done it really, really well. And I feel like it keeps getting better. It's a fun, fun car to drive. This is a, this is a car that's gonna give you some excitement. So between these two, I probably would go here. Anyway, that's my review. Let me know what you think. I think it's I think it's really interesting. I think it's really close. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. It would really help me with the algorithm on YouTube. And also, please share it on your social media sites out there. For everyone here at Alfa Romeo Monterey St. Pete, I am John. I will see you next time.